I'm going to discuss how we create matrix elements for rosing operators um, and I want to consider two examples. So first of all we're going to look at the quantum harmonic oscillator um, and then we're going to look at generalized uh, angular momentum which I'm going to abbreviate to gen ang mom. The difference between these two I hope will be instructive. Remember of course that in general um, we have the definition of a matrix element as a k n is equal to bra k a hat ket n um, and remember that k is the row and n is the column in this case so for the quantum harmonic oscillator we have that the raising operator a acting on state n gives us the square root of n plus one ket n plus one and therefore in general bra k a plus n will equal root n plus 1 delta k comma n plus 1 and if we create this matrix let's say for the first four eigenstates so I'm going to put the first four eigenstates those are the values of k I've just written vertically and then the values of n go along the top so I'll put a little n here to remind you. Um, then if k is equal to 0, then there is no way for k to equal n plus 1. Um, so we get zeros along the top. If k is equal to 1, then if n is equal to 0, then k is equal to n plus 1. Um, and we get a value of 1, and then we get further zeros. Um, if k is 2, then we get an entry of root 2 when n equals 1. Um, that's because n plus 1 is 2, so we get root 2. When k equals 3, then we get an entry of root 3, etc. And I'm going to put in some dots here to indicate that this continues on, because remember that we effectively have an infinite basis. Um, and I'll put in the beginning of a matrix bracket there on the left-hand side, and I'll put a matrix bracket on the right-hand side. So for the quantum harmonic oscillator, it's a reasonably simple way to prepare the matrix for A+. plus. Um, if you want to make A-, minus, you can follow the same procedure or you can just take the Hermitian conjugate of the matrix. Now what about generalized angular momentum, um, G, A, M? There are two labels uh, because we have eigenstates that are simultaneously eigenstates of two operators. So we have J and we have MJ. Um, and typically we write a ket J comma MJ. Um, this is maybe different to the way that we've normally written it in lectures where we quite often just use a number um, and can be potentially confusing. Right, so if we were, if we fixed j, um, let's say to 3 over 2, um, though remember it can be any half integer value, um, we would have uh, 2j plus 1 eigenstates. Oops. And remember those are for mj is equal to minus j, etc., up to plus j. So that's where we would go. Um, and we could, if we chose, label these um, in the same way that we would label the quantum harmonic oscillator. So we could label them as ket1, ket2, um, etc., up to ket. 2j plus 1, um, but normally um, it's clearer if we go if we use the values of j and mj. So we have 3 over 2, comma 3 over 2, uh, 3 over 2, comma a half, etc. That's just to cover the notation to make it clear what we're doing. Um, we know we derived that the action of j plus the raising operator on j mj is to give us h bar times the square root of j into j plus 1 minus m into m plus 1 um, multiplying ket j mj plus 1. Um, and therefore the matrix element between two different Kets, two different states, so bra 
um, j m j prime j plus with ket j comma m j is equal to um, that same factor h bar and I'll put the square brackets to indicate that the factor is in there but I won't write it out again delta m j m j prime no that's wrong um, let me just rub that out um, what we actually want is delta m j prime comma m j plus one <laughs> okay now let's make a little table um, so we've set j is three over two so let's for m j prime is three over two um, then we need m j plus one to equal m j prime so m j is equal to a half will give us a non-zero entry that's where the delta function will equal one um, and the value we get will be h bar into the square root of 3 over 2 that's j times 5 over 2 that's j plus 1 minus m which is a half in times m plus 1 which is 3 over 2 um, now we've got 15 over 4 minus 3 over 4 which is 12 over 4 which is 3 so we have root 3 h bar if we take m j prime is equal to a half um, then m j has to equal minus a half for the delta function to be one um, and we get the matrix element of h bar into the square root of three over two times five over two this never changes remember minus um, then we have m which is minus a half times m plus one which is a half so there we have 15 over four add a quarter which is 16 over four or four so when we take the square root we get two h bar um, for mj prime is minus a half then mj has to equal minus three halves um, in order to get the delta function to equal one and we end up with h bar root 15 over four minus now we have minus three over two times minus a half um, and so that gives us back the root three that we had before root three h bar and if mj prime is minus three over two then mj would have to equal minus 5 over 2 and there is no entry. If we make um, a matrix then we're going to put the values of mj prime on the left we can have 3 over 2, a half, minus a half and minus 3 over 2 um, and we're going to have mj across the top 3 halves, a half, minus a half and minus 3 halves um, and we're going to put in entries of, well, 0 is the first entry going along the row for mj prime is 3 over 2. Then when mj is a half, we get root 3 h bar and we get zeros everywhere else. For mj is a half, we get 0, 0, 2 h bar, 0. mj is minus a half, we get 0, 0, root 3 h bar, 0. No, sorry, that's wrong. Um, we get a 0. We get 0, 0, 0, and then root 3 h bar. And on the bottom line, we get zeros all the way across because there is no condition for which mj prime is equal to mj plus 1. So we've created the matrix representing the raising operator for angular momentum. Um, notice that this is different to the raising operator for the quantum harmonic oscillator um, because, so the difference to the quantum harmonic oscillator um, is because we're using decreasing eigenvalues. So we used decreasing. eigenvalues for the generalized angular momentum. Um, this is purely conventional. You could, of course, do it starting with um, mj prime is minus 3 over 2 um, and go down. And in that case, the matrix would have exactly the same structure as for the quantum harmonic oscillator. It doesn't change um, the essential physics of the situation, uh, but it does change the way that the matrix looks. Um, and it's important to understand this. I would urge you to go away and try and do J minus for yourself. 
um, to make sure you understand exactly what we've done. Maybe also play with a different value of j. So try, um, let's say, j minus, um, j is equal to 1, um, and other examples, just to get a feel for how this is going to work.